Um, well, there are typically four buckets where we accommodate these kind of problems. Uh, one is the plunger and the barrel interface, right? Uh, it can be that the plunger is getting stuck in the barrel, the plunger is getting worn out really fast, or even the barrel uh, uh, ID, it might be wearing out very fast. Another one could be the valves. Uh, the valves can be uh, getting a st stuck because of solids. Either they are getting a stuck uh, at the open position or they could be a stuck uh, um, at the closed position. Another problem would be my pump getting stuck in the tubing. That usually happens when you have a bottom hole down configuration. Uh, and the other problem, uh, very common, is your pump getting packed with sand. In some cases, sometimes we uh, the pump receives a large amount of solids, huge concentration. And even though we have, uh, there are technologies to allow to pump a little better uh, the sand, uh, this technology cannot pump just sand. It requires a good amount of fluid. Um, the first thing to do, uh, it will be trying to use a top hold down configuration. Uh, this allows uh, for the fluid discharge out of the pump to be very close to your hold down. So it would prevent from solids settling on top of your hold down, which is typically what causes your pump getting stuck on the tubing. However, this, this solution uh, has certain limitations, especially on depth, right? As you go deeper and deeper, uh, you might not use, you might not be able to use this technology because it can cause problems to your, to your barrel. So in that case, we have to go to a bottom hold down configuration, which in some situations where sand is, um, um, it's available in high concentrations, uh, you might uh, get the pump stuck, right? So there are a couple other solutions in that case. One would be the Topson seal. The Topson seal is um, basically a, a rubber element located on top of the barrel that after being actuated is gonna expand and it's gonna seal against the tubing ID, right? So it's gonna prevent solids from falling and settling on top of your bottom hole down. And the other option that it's in the market is the brush sand seal. The brush sand seal replaces this rubber element that I was telling you about being actuated by a brush. This brush, it doesn't need to be actuated and it consists of a few uh, small and um, flexible filaments that can, um, can flex and adjust uh, to the tubing ID as the pump is round down hole. That's another, uh, that's another solution. However, every well is different, so I will recommend uh, contact your uh, sales representative in your area to discuss these options or maybe others that might be available and might be more suitable for your well.